listen, he said out of his mouth, Shaq, that he was better than Jordan. I just want to let people know and set the record straight that I was as great a player as Michael Jordan. How do you want to be remembered? That's the greatest of all time. Stop it. Get some help. He didn't say that. He never yes, said he that. Did. Yes, that man did. Yes, he did. Spice, am I lying? Yes, that man did. <laughs> if that man said that in front of me, I'm going to hit him right in his esophagus. I'm going to be like, like stop it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just chop him. I'm just, bro, do not finish that sentence. <laughs> What's up, guys? Manny Brandon, Manny's Fitness Fortress. We're going to get right into it. Scottie Pippen released a memoir last year, Undisputed, his own personal story in a book about what he thought and felt about Michael Jordan, the man's career, the documentary The Last Dance, and his legacy as a whole. There's a lot of buffoonery, hypocrisy, and envious behavior in this, and we got several newscaster podcasts on this show to let you see the light, make you, let you make your own decisions, Scotty Pippen has gone on record as saying that Michael Jordan was selfish and a myriad of other distasteful comments. Let's get into it. Are you ready? <laughs> Scotty Pippen is sharing intimate details about his road to superstardom. Good evening, everyone, and welcome once again to Bulls Basketball. Including what he really thought about the docuseries The Last Dance, which followed the Chicago Bulls dynasty in the 90s. Pippen says when he agreed to be filmed, he wasn't aware it would focus so heavily on Michael Jordan. You come out swinging in this book, and right off the top, you have, you, you have a lot of criticism about The Last Dance. I thought it was a great documentary. I felt like the documentary only told a story that sort of glorified him as a player and not glorified us as a team. You call Michael Jordan selfish in the first chapter. Why is that? I mean, uh, he was a great scorer, but a lot of things that he did uh, was based on uh, him as an individual. And I think basketball is a team game. Watching you and Michael on the court, it looked like two best friends out there just crushing right. everybody. These next three clips are from November 3rd, 2021, from the Skip and Shannon uh, podcast. All right, guys. Basically, it's saying Scotty Pippen should be honored that he had the opportunity to ride Michael Jordan's coattails to be a part of his legacy. There's nothing wrong with being Robin, but there's only one Batman. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. Let you tell it. Uh, I'll tell it because I was there in 1998, and I first guessed this. You, you can look it up in the Chicago Tribune when I wrote again and again that Scottie Pippen should thank his lucky stars every night that he had the honor and privilege of being a co-star, getting to go along as the sidekick of Michael Jeffrey Jordan. It was simply the greatest thing that ever happened to Scotty, and he's still riding Jordan's coattails. If he'd played anywhere else, and we saw him go other places and try to be a star mm -hmm. and never make another all-star team, he made six with Jordan, under Jordan, six. Right. 
Actually, you, seven. He made six in a row. Do you do you believe Jordan would have won those without Scottie Pippen? He, he obviously it's a five man game, and no. Scottie was a very good player, but not a great player. Okay, but okay. I'm saying okay. So if we put any other player. Okay. Aside but, Jordan, not Scottie Pippen. But the point is, people are still paying attention to Scottie Pippen simply because he played with Jordan. Period. End of story. Yeah, that's... If he played for anybody else, any other team, any other franchise, any other co-star, he would be just another guy that nobody would care right, about. Guys, well, Scottie Pippen in his memoir has gone on record as saying the only reason Michael Jordan released the last uh, dance was to show today's generation LeBron's fans, who he was. Those who are young, that didn't get to see him score, didn't get to see him play. The thing is, Michael Jordan, we can leave it up to speculation. He could have said, yes, they do need a refresher, refresher course on who I was. But the point of the matter is, there are a lot of fans, you know, 25 years old and under, that have no knowledge of his greatness. You see all these LeBron super fan videos watching the Michael Jordan mixtapes for the first time. Amazed. Don't know what the jaws down to the floor. And they're like this, scratching their head at the end of the video. But check out this next clip. Essence of the last dance was, the impact was, that I believe that, I think there are about five billion blind witnesses, followers of LeBron, <laughs> led by you, you're the king of the king's followers. And I believe about one billion of the five billion actually had their eyes opened and sat back and said, uh-oh, that guy was just better. And that, that guy it, was a bad man. Because like you said, Skip, Michael retired in, after the 90, in 99, after that Bulls run, came back a couple of years later. Three. And so here we are, and that was 2020 when the documentary was released. So that was like eight, 19, like 16, 17 years. So a lot of people, uh, some weren't born, some was very small and don't remember. So Mike says, well, let me give, offer you a refresher course of just who he, I was. He did. <laughs> And you also need to be refreshed to the fact that Scotty left the, yeah. the next year as Michael walked into the yeah. sunset and he said, if you run my coach out of town, I'm walking out yes. that door and yes. I'm not coming back. So right. he retired on principle for the three years, mm -hmm. but Scotty went on to Houston. Right. All right, guys. Also want to thank all my subscribers for helping me push past 1,000 subs. Tune in every Tuesday and Thursday, and that's going to be our new release days for all our content. Don't forget to check out fnxfit.com for awesome supplementation and apparel, clean supplements, um, clothes, apparels, halter tops, bags, gym bags, all that stuff. Just enter discount code FNX1Fortress, FNX1Fortress for 15% off all supplementation and apparel. That's fnxfit.com. The link will be in the description of all my videos. Come get your merch, all that stuff, and as well as my own merch, Manny's Fitness Fortress merch. DM me on my Instagram at Manny's Fitness Fortress. All right, guys, this next clip is about Stephen A. Curry. I'm sorry, Stephen A. <laughs> Responded to Scottie Pippen's accusations and a lot of his uh, gripes and issues that he had in his uh, book. Talking about bad decisions that Scottie Pippen made that led to his envious behavior and a little bit of resentment and anger, okay? These are all decisions that Scottie made um, Michael Jordan is going on record, like I said, by saying he's the best teammate I've ever had. Check out this following clip. Best teammate of all time, he called me. He couldn't have been more condescending if he tried. Each episode was the same. Michael on a pedestal. His teammates secondary, smaller. The message no different from when he referred to us back then as his supporting cast. From one season to the next, we received little or no, no credit whenever we won, but the bulk of the criticism when we lost. Michael Jordan would never have been Jordan without me, Horace Grant, Tony Kukoc, John Paxson, Steve Kerr, Dennis Rodman, Bill Cartwright, Ron Harper, BJ Armstrong, Luke Longley, Will Perdue, Bill Weddington, and I apologize to anyone we've left out. I now want to bring an NBA insider, Brian Windhorst, this morning. Wendy, thank you so much for being with us. And I will get to you in just a minute. Stephen A., I'm going to start with you. Is Scottie Pippen justified in these remarks? No. I think he went over the line. Um, <clears throat> Wendy, you know me. It's good to see you, my brother. Keep up the great work. Um, you know I've been on the phone a lot. Um, last night and certainly over the last few months. A few months ago, I haven't spoken to Scottie Pippen in a few months, but I spoke to Scottie Pippen once Last Dance was on the air. I'm aware of his feelings. Obviously, I've spoken to Michael Jordan on numerous occasions. 
um, including last night. Um, guys like Isaiah Thomas is relevant in this conversation as well, along with various others. <clears throat> Let me be very, very clear. Scottie Pippen should be ashamed of himself. And I'm not going to crucify Scottie because obviously he's in a different place mentally and there must be a lot going on and my heart goes out to him because this is clearly an underappreciated or at least a person who feels he is underappreciated. And just in case you feel underappreciated, Scottie Pippen, let me remind you that the world recognizes you as one of the top 50 players in NBA history, a two-time Olympic gold medalist, a six-time champion, um, six, uh, I mean, the entire decade of the 90s, the man was first team all defensive NBA, for crying out loud. The brother, I mean, him guarding Magic Johnson is what delivered the, the NBA championship for the first time to the Chicago Bulls. We all know the greatness of Scottie Pippen. Michael Jordan also knows that greatness, which is why Michael Jordan is on the record saying he's the greatest teammate that he ever had. So here we are nearly 30 years later, and this is what you do. It seems like Scottie Pippen is blaming Michael Jordan for what has ailed him. So let's go back in history because we need to correct the record. And if I sound like I am coming to the fence of Michael Jordan, you damn right I am. You damn right. Because he deserves to be defended in this regard. Scottie Pippen comes into the NBA mm -hmm. in 1987. Scottie Pippen keeps bringing up how Michael Jordan was Michael Jordan because of us. Well, he was a champion because of y'all. And if he didn't win championships, clearly that would have been bad for his legacy. No doubt. But does Wendy, do I need to remind anybody? And please let me see Wendy when I'm talking to her. Do I need to remind anybody of who the hell Michael Jordan was before Scottie Pippen ever arrived? We're talking Michael Jordan. We're talking about the NBA who was promoting Magic and Bird and said, well, wait a minute, pause. Even while the bad boy Detroit Pistons was interrupting the proceedings by winning back-to-back -back titles and going to three straight NBA finals, they said, pause. This dude right here is going to take our league to another stratosphere. This is when Michael Jordan was getting bounced out in the first round. That's how great he was to the human eye. So to act like, oh my goodness, he, we helped him win and that's what made Michael Jordan. No, it actually made y'all. That's number one. Number two, Scottie Pippen. We love you, bro. But there's no way to get around certain things. Number one, in 88, 89, if I remember correctly, Wendy, you got the migraine. Why did I bring up the migraine? Why did I bring up Isaiah Thomas? Because when the Jordan rules were implemented by Chuck Daly and the Detroit Pistons, they were called the Jordan rules. But ask Isaiah Thomas, who I also spoke to this morning, and, and by the way, who respects Scotty, even though Scotty told me personally, he, he wouldn't spit on Isaiah Thomas's grave if he, if on, on, he wouldn't spit on Thomas if he's on fire. That's what he said months ago. That's what he said. Okay, he can't stand Isaiah Thomas. Okay, but Isaiah Thomas implemented the Jordan rules. Wendy, you know this. I'm sorry. Detroit Pistons implemented the Jordan rules. The Jordan rules wasn't just for Jordan. They were also for Scotty, because they said screens, back picks, and other things. If you put Scotty Pippen through that. Mentally, we believed we could take him out. And even though the migraine was real, we believed that's what caused the migraine. Okay? So then they win the first championship in 91. Jerry Reinsdorf is the owner of the Chicago Bulls. He tells Scottie Pippen, do not sign this five-year, $18 million deal. I'm telling you right now, you'll be worth more in a year or two because I do not renegotiate in the middle of contracts. If you sign this deal... You're going to have to stick with it. Scottie Pippen reflecting on his dad, God rest his soul, that was in a wheelchair. His brother who was in a wheelchair. Remembering Daryl Stingley, who was paralyzed the New England Patriots by Jack, the late Jack Tatum on that hit in preseason from the Oakland Raiders to Daryl Stingley of the New England Patriots. Scottie Pippen remembered all of that and said, yo, I got to take this money now. Even though Ryan Storff personally told him, you're going to regret it. He still signed that deal. That's not Jordan's fault. And then, by the way, last but not least, did y'all know that on the basketball court, we ain't talking marketing, we ain't talking promotions, Wendy, on the basketball court, did you know that Scottie Pippen made more money than Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan never made more than $4 million a year for the first 11 years of his career. The last two years, he signed a $30 and a $33 million deal. 
and all the teams signed off on him getting that money because of what he meant to the league. Michael Jordan made $97 million in his career. Scottie Pippen made $107 million because he got 67.2 from Houston, ultimately moved to Portland, and he made the other money with the 30% of his salary with the Chicago Bulls. That's not Jordan's fault. And so when you look at all of those things that we bring into the equation, here you are nearly three decades later, and you're going to call this brother out because of the decisions that you made? All right, guys. I want to add another note. Um, like I said, a lot of this generation, like I said, 25-year-old um, fans and below, never got to see Michael Jordan. This, um, these Super LeBron fan videos on YouTube are watching Michael Jordan's mixtapes for the first time. And they're like, where did this guy come from? And the thing is, there's never been another person with the athleticism of Michael Jordan. Six foot six, 48 inch vertical, I'm slam dunking from the free throw line, oh, come on. I mean, he's a freak of nature. He was, and there will never be another Michael Jordan. Um, like I said, LeBron is a great athlete, but what happened to him this season? You know, falling prey to these subpar teams that the 90s Bulls would have blew out. LeBron sitting home, you know, yeah. it's Steve, Stephen A. Curry, I mean, Stephen Curry went to the uh, championships and it took, it's crazy. Michael Jordan would've got it done. Mike would've got it done. Forget the flu, the flu game. Mike would've got it done. Indiana Pacers, Reggie Miller, game seven, Mike would've got it done. That's the difference between, you know, LeBron and someone like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant had that killer instinct kill or be killed. LeBron doesn't have that. I know stats is everybody's argument, but like I said, Michael Jordan walked away on principle. He could have kept playing and building his stats and numbers. He was only a few away from the all-time scoring list. Nobody, Karl Malone was second all-time scoring um, right before he went to play his last season with the Lakers before retirement. He didn't care about that. That's what y'all gotta realize. This is a personal decision. There's no clip of LeBron that you can show me that can you can even put next to Jordan's most lackluster performance. I'm sorry. But anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. I want to hear your comments. I want to hear your, your, your opinions. You know, post down there. Let me know if you want to see another basketball or a sports type video. Um, I was just very passionate about this because Pippen had gripes. He could have came out and, and spoke about things between 1998, 99, 2000. But this book comes out. I'm sorry, this documentary comes out. Then he releases a book. Instead of going to Michael and saying, listen, how'd you feel about this? What about this? And you could have talked to him as a man. But this is a lot of built up anger, resentment, and envious behavior. You know, Scott is a great, like Stephen A said, he's a great, he's top 50 of all time. What are you complaining about? Your decisions mold your future, and that goes with everything in life for all of us. Take care, guys.